Okay, in this tutorial we will have a look at how to set up a drawing for print. So in this case I have created a new drawing and I want to attach the drawings that I want to set up for the for the print. So first I will select references and I will attach the files that I want to set up for the print. And I'm able to select multiple files at once and I will just click on open and I just want to make sure that I attach the files in the scale of 1 to 1 so I'll just say OK to this and OK OK and OK for the last one so the next step is to attach the drawing header and also the drawing frame and to attach the drawing frame I need to know the size of the frame that I need so I will measure the overall width of the drawing layout which should be within this area right here so it's around 25,000 meters or about 25 kilometers And since this is a very huge project area, I want to set up the drawing in the scale of 1 to 20,000. So to determine the overall width of the paper, I need to divide the 25 kilometers or the 25,000 meters, which I will just type in. I need to divide this with 20,000 because I want to set up the drawing in the scale of 1 to 20,000. So in this case we can see that I need to have a drawing which is 1.25 meters in width and to determine the amount of sheets which correspond to an A4 sheet I need to divide the 1.25 with 0.21 which is the width of an A4 sheet so in this case I can see that I need to have six sheets in order to fit in the project area but also I need to have one sheet for the drawing legend and the drawing information so I will need to have a width of seven sheets So to attach the frame and also the drawing header, I need to right click, select attach and in this case I will select the frame and if I just go back then the frame is located in the folder called STD and it's located next to layout or in the folder with the layout and I will just select the frame click on open and in this case if I select the frame from the list with which corresponds to one A4 sheet in the height and seven sheets in the width I will just select it and in this case it should be 20,000 to 1 so I will just click OK and then I will just select the drawing header and again make sure that it has been set to 20,000 to 1 click OK and if we then select fit view in this case we can see that the frame and the drawing header is located down here whereas the drawing is placed in the upper part so the next thing I want to do is to move the frame and the drawing header so I will just select it from the list and select move references snap to the frame and the header and if I then zoom into the project area in this case I'm able to place the frame and the drawing header on top of the project area 
And the next thing I want to do is to move the frame and the drawing header into the drawing. So I will just select them from the list and right click, select merge into master. And then I just need to click inside of the drawing, say OK. And now we can see that the frame and also drawing header is no longer part of the reference list, but it's actually part of the drawing. The last thing I will show you in this tutorial is how you modify the boundaries of the attached files. So in this case I will just select all of the attached files and I will select clip references. And if we then zoom into the drawing frame then we can see we have a dash line which is the borderline for the reference file so I will just click on it. And now the boundaries of the attached files has been modified.